Rumors are that allegedly the network is in trouble when it comes to the Kenya drama. What's going on? I have some new information that may answer that question and more right after this. What's up, Kenfo, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kenfo, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly the network may be in big trouble when it comes to all of this Kenya drama. What's going on? I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that allegedly the network is in big trouble regarding Kenya and the Real Housewives of Atlanta filming drama. This changes everything, said the source. Kenya's alleged lawsuit has backed the network into a corner it will be hard to get itself out of. The source explained. Every lawsuit currently against the network from current to former housewives runs the risk of seceding if Kenya is fired from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Absolutely every element of these lawsuits are made evident with Kenya's firing, said the source. Alleged emotional abuse, sexual misconduct, racist talent treatment, and a hostile work environment. All things the network can't be seen as condoning if they try to reprimand one housewife or Bravo celebrity and not the others who have committed these alleged acts. Their hands are tied, said the source, and they have nowhere to run. The network is in major trouble if they let Kenya go. Allegedly, said the source, the network will be looking for a new scapegoat because Kenya is serious and not the one to be played with. The network knows this latest incident is a PR nightmare one in which they want to make go away and fast. So what's the solution? The source said, I'm not sure, but firing Kenya isn't one of them. Now, Kim, folks, this is some new information that's coming out of the season 16 uh, filming. And I must say, season 15, 16 filming of Real Housewives of Atlanta is not disappointing. It is a new rumor, new drama every single solitary day. And I can only imagine what they're actually getting on film. Now, with this uh, latest rumor coming out of filming, I will say this. Um, there are some parts of it that I can see as being factual and some parts of it I can see as not being so factual. But I think the first thing that we want to look at is this. You know, the network is horrible at crisis management. This is not the first time we've had an incident like this happen in during filming that the network has not really gotten ahead of or allowed to, you know, uh, really fester and become a bigger issue. And the issue here is that it's all about messaging. You know, the network, I think, and maybe even was only producers, were very quick to make an example out of Kenya, to reprimand her for her alleged actions. But it lacked a lot of self-reflection from the network and um, producers. Because when you look at what Kenya allegedly did, there have been other instances where other Bravo celebrities have done similar things or things that have been just egregious. But they have not been fired, suspended, or they have not had any contracts uh, dissolved. So in a rush to try to solve this issue, they pretty much made a bigger issue out of the situation and really put the spotlight on how they treat their Bravo celebrities, especially the Bravo celebrities of color versus the non uh, the celebrities of non-color or in other words, their white colleagues. So in a rush to try to make a rash decision to look like they are ahead of the curve, they really just made a big PR uh, blunder and did not give themselves enough time to really investigate the situation before they decided to put Kenya on an alleged suspension. Now, Kim, folk, the next thing about this uh, rumor I think is kind of evident and it comes from Kenya's camp and it's this. When it comes to this uh, alleged suspension of Kenya from season 16 filming The Real Housewives of Atlanta, I really do believe that Kenya's team is going to run circles around producers. 
maybe not so much the network because I believe this was a producer call, but they're going to run circles around production simply because there are just too many instances where things like this have happened or things that people feel like they were as serious as this alleged incident have happened and nothing has happened to those Bravo celebrities. Also, there might be a situation where Kenya can possibly say that, you know, production allegedly knew what I was about to do. They were the ones who were allegedly facilitating the drama between Britney and I, and that, you know, they knew that things were going to be heated. And that could be something that very well could have had a conversation that could have very well happened. Now, I'm speculating here, and Stan allegedly could have happened simply because we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But what we do know is that each um, housewife is given a producer or at least share a producer who helps them, you know, facilitate their storylines to help facilitate the drama that's going on during the season. So could they have known about what Kenya was going to do? Maybe so, maybe not. However, they did know or could have known that things were getting heated between Britney and um, Kenya. And instead of kind of trying to cool the flames, they might have just sat back and allowed the flames to, start, uh, to uh, get out of control. Now, of course, Kenya is a grown woman. They can't really stop her from doing certain things that she wants to do or expressing herself for her frustration with a cast member in a certain way. But it boils back down to did production know that Kenya was going to allegedly do um, this big uh, reveal that everyone's saying that she did at her hair salon? If so, can you really hold her accountable to those acts or to the fallout of everything that happened? Who knows? But Kimfo, the next part of this rumor kind of piggybacks off that last statement and that last rationale about why Kenya really can't necessarily be held too much accountable if those things were in play. And it's this. You know, um, firing Kenya is not really going to make this situation any better or go away. Simply because this is something that comes along with the territory of Real Housewives of Atlanta or any Real Housewives franchise. It is this type of drama that fans look forward to to seeing what actually happened. And firing Kenya is not going to solve this issue simply because there are just so many things and elements that muddy the waters. Did producers know? Did producers try to stop her? Did she tell producers she's going to do one thing and end up doing something else? Did they want to get this drama for uh, the cameras to, um, you know, get the the rumor mill and gossip mills and social media talking about season 16 so they can have a higher uh premiere who knows but it's so many hands that have been placed inside of this drama and there have been so many things that have been pushed around the wars are just too muddy for bravo or producers to even really fire kenya at this point and also who started this you know what i mean you can't start a fight with someone and tell them how they should respond to that fight or their disrespect so with that being said, yes, I do feel like Kenya's team can run circles around production because the waters are just so muddy at this moment. And as Kenya said, everyone is trying to make an assumption about something they have really no clear understanding of what really happened, except for Kenya, Brittany, and the people that were in attendance. And speaking of Brittany Edie, rumors are that she wasn't even allegedly there when these images were unveiled or circulated at Kenya Hair Care uh, Grand Opening. But Kimfo, that brings me back to the last statement that I really want to touch on, and it's this. You know, what is the uh, the relationship between Kenya and Brittany? Because from my understanding, um, Brittany came into the season very hot. That's what my sources are saying that happened behind the scenes. And it seems as if Kenya matched that same energy that, that uh, Brittany was bringing to the cast. Something that we're not going to fault Brittany for because we want a firecracker housewife to come in and shake things up and give us something to talk about. But it does play like, what was Brittany Edie's role in all of this? Did she really allegedly threaten Kenya with a gun before Kenya exposed these alleged pictures? Is that what sent Kenya over the edge? If so, maybe it was the rage that had Kenya not thinking clearly on how she could get back at Brittany for allegedly taunting her. So we want to know, like, what is the context of all this that's going on? Hopefully, this is what Bravo and producers are investigating and not necessarily investigating the fallout of what Kenya allegedly did and seeing how much of a bad look it would be for the network if they allowed Kenya to continue. This investigation that they're allegedly having should be more so about what is the bottom of this issue? Where did it start? How were the flames uh, uh, stoked? Did Britney do something equal? That, did did Britney do something to Kenya or was about to do something to Kenya that Kenya kind of like reacted to or was trying to beat her to the punch before doing? 
who knows? But again, these are the things that need to be investigated thoroughly before they make such a rash decision to fire Kenya. And I agree with my sources. It seems like the network of all people or individuals are really backed up into a corner. Because as we've said before, other Bravo celebrities have done things as equally egregious as Kenya has allegedly done, but nothing has happened to them. Even some of them have even gotten raises. So it really does back Bravo into a corner. And if Kenya does proceed with this lawsuit, it's just one more lawsuit on their plate that they have to try to make go away or try to explain to the public that it's not what people may think it is. However, when the evidence is right in front of you, it's kind of hard to pull the the wool over our eyes. And that is what Kenya's alleged lawsuit may do for a lot of Bravo uh, fans is to lift the veil over our eye from our eyes and see what's really going on here at the network or at um, production in the way they treat their uh, Bravo celebrities of color versus their Bravo celebrities who are not of a, well, their white counterparts. But Kim folk, I wanna know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think if Kenya goes through with this alleged lawsuit, do you think it's going to really change the dynamic of the network and production and how they handle things? And do you think it's going to allow Kenya to actually keep her uh, peach if she decides to drop this lawsuit if she ever brings one? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. All right, Kim folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.